This story appears in the October 2023 issue of Forbes Asia. Subscribe to Forbes Asia. Asia is the most important market worldwide for the luxury Swiss watchmaker Richard Mill. Some 40% of its production is allocated to Asia, 10% to Japan, 30% to the rest of Asia, while the US gets 30%, and Europe, the Middle East and Africa has another 30%. The luxury watchmaker was founded in 2001 and opened its first boutique in the region five years later, in Hong Kong, followed by one in Tokyo in 2007. Since then, it has expanded to 16 standalone boutiques throughout Asia, including four in Japan, versus 25 for the rest of the world. It has also been among the first of the big Swiss luxury watchmakers to enter some of Asia's smaller and emerging markets, such as Malaysia and Vietnam. It studied buying patterns in the region, noting that its watches, known for their large, thick designs, didn't always appeal to Asian buyers, so it moved to offer slimmer styles and also added models for women, which helped boost sales in the region. To strengthen its commitment to Asia, Richard Mill will open its second boutique in Singapore this month along Tanglin Road, a block away from the upscale St. Regis Hotel and near Tanglin Mall, a prime location in one of Singapore's most expensive neighborhoods. The new boutique will span approximately 930 square meters and will be the largest Richard Mill boutique in the world. The other boutique is located in Marina Bay Sands. Asia has been very active in the life of the brand, says Alexander Mill, 36, brand director of the company and son of Richard Mill, in an interview held during a visit to Singapore. Mill explains that the company is careful about how it markets its watches. Up until 2019, it allowed its watches to be sold alongside others in multi-brand stores. Then in an effort to make the brand more exclusive, it now sells only through its own branded outlets that are managed through a partner with a franchise to operate a store. Moving to its own boutiques is also important in Asia as they can be used as venues for events, an activity that is especially welcome in the region, says Mill. I would say the very first clients that understood, appreciated, and probably inspired us into doing more and more events are the Asian clients, says Mill. Richard Mill's efforts to woo high-end watch buyers in Asia and the rest of the world appear to be paying off. The company has been able to climb the ranks in a little over two decades to become one of the world's biggest Swiss luxury watchmakers, against rivals who have been in the business in some cases for centuries. Morgan Stanley and Swiss watch analyst Lux Consult, in their most recent annual report on the Swiss watch industry, Estimate that Richard Mill last year was the sixth largest by revenue. Estimated at 1.3 billion Swiss francs, 1.5 billion dollars. The number five spot is held by Patek Philippe, a company that has been making watches since 1839, with one.